Thank you for joining us tonight. A Twin Cities man arrested at the airport after he says he was deporting himself. Yeah, he was trying to get back to Somalia, but it's what police found in his pocket that made them suspicious. Fox 9's Tom Lydon live at the airport tonight with the details. Tom, what happened this time? Well, guys, community leaders are telling me they are still hearing about young people preparing to go overseas to fight for terror groups like ISIS. But at the same time, there's another phenomena going on. Somali Americans returning to their homeland because they believe after 20 years, it's more stable and there is a chance to start a new life. And that's what a man here at the airport says he was doing eight days ago. But authorities have reason to believe there's more to the story. He had a one-way ticket to Somalia but he never made it past the security checkpoint. Zaki Mohamed Sugule was arrested at the airport on President's Day, acting suspiciously. According to airport police, the 39-year-old was traveling with a fake Somali passport. The wrong color, poorly laminated, name even misspelled. Sugule told police he was trying to self-deport himself out of the U.S. in order to turn his life around. But Fox 9 has learned federal agents became concerned because in his pocket was the name and address of a contact in Syria. Raising the fear Sagouli may have been attempting to fly to Somalia to fight for al-Shabaab or perhaps would try to reach Syria to fight for ISIS. Another East African man who we are not identifying was arrested that same day for traveling with false documents. It's unknown if the two were traveling together. Sagule was well known here in the Cedar Riverside neighborhood, but mostly as a drunk and an inebrian, getting into constant fights and in trouble with police. They find it hard to believe that he would be fighting for al-Shabaab or ISIS because they just don't think he's very competent. Sagule has been arrested more than 40 times in the last decade for assault, disorderly conduct, and terroristic threats. At the Starbucks in Cedar Riverside last year, he threatened to kill people with a drill bit. He has a habit of sucker punching people at random and once used a piece of broken glass to slash someone across the face. Airport police arrested Sagouli last week on five outstanding warrants. And a few days ago, a judge sentenced him to a year and a half in prison. But ominously, Sagouli told airport police after he cleared up his warrants, he would be coming back again to the airport to leave the U.S. Even though, even though Sagule is locked up, a source tells me that this is still a very active investigation. A spokesperson for TSA directed us to the FBI for comment. A spokesperson for the FBI told me he is not in a position to comment on this case. Live at MSP, Tom Lydon, Fox.